Hello and welcome to the end of term ceremony for spring 2020 for the semester of our EAAP program at Niagara College. My name is Carolyn Ambrose Miller and I'm one of the faculty members in the School of English Language Studies. I'm hosting you today from the beautiful Kawartha Lakes region in uh, Northern Ontario. So to get us started, it's my pleasure to introduce you to our Associate Dean, Guhan Ilgazli, to commence our ceremony. Dear Niagara College EAP students and graduates, it's my pleasure to welcome you to our EAP Spring Summer 2020 End of Term Ceremony. Today, we gather here virtually to celebrate your amazing achievements in our EAP program. I am so very proud of all your hard work and dedication towards improving your English language skills, especially during these difficult times. And I'm so happy that we have this opportunity today to recognize your amazing success. I want to also thank our wonderful faculty and staff for all their amazing work this term and a special thanks to Jonathan Belgrave, Natalie and her team for putting this virtual EOTC together. I look forward to meeting you all in person as soon as possible and I wish you all the brightest future, health and success. Take care and stay safe. Thanks very much, Guhan. And now we will move to the presentation of our most dedicated student awards. The most dedicated student award goes to a student who has displayed a strong commitment both to their studies but also their class. Bringing people together, improving the environment of the classroom, creating a positive atmosphere. The names of our selected most dedicated students for the spring 2020 semester are Level 3A, Vladia de Andrade Silva Level 4A, Mohamed Amar. Level 4B, Kwang Guk Park. Level 5A, Luis Andre Mora de Sosa e Silva. And Level 5B, Francisco Aguiar Gonzalez. We have some very dedicated students who took some time to share their experiences of the online EAP program to share it with you all. First, we have Luis Andre Mora de Sosa El Silva from Level 5A with his video. Hi everyone, my name is Luis Andre and I'm talking from Brazil and I'd like to share with you an exciting experience I've been living since May 2020. I started my studies at the Niagara College through the AP English for Academic Preparation course at level 5. Because of the pandemic, I only had online classes, but it was not a problem at all. As soon as I entered my first English class and met my classmates, I was able to understand the strengths of the Niagara College. As students from most varied countries, such as Korea, Japan, China, Vietnam, Turkey and Brazil were in front of me. Some were already in Canada, but half of us were still in our homelands and we were attending classes in different time zones. And I wondered how professors could handle such a, a challenging task. Throughout the course, other colleagues from each hop in Brazil joined our group. Our professors were so supportive in making students uh, feel so comfortable and embraced that uh, I hardly ever remembered I was in a, in a virtual environment. There are so many work groups and we had to meet each other so many times uh, to prepare and practice our group presentations that really it seemed uh, we were studying together in person. And, uh, we had, a, we had a lot of fun throughout the course. During class and, our, and for our studies, uh, Niagara College provided us different ways to improve our English. Um, books, ebooks, virtual library, online quizzes, um, 
website, uh, websites and many offline activities and surveys. I'm very proud to succeed in my English course and I have to thank my EP professors and classmates. Guys, I'm blessed to meet you all. And I have to and I have a special thanks to the Niagara staff because they always helped when I needed it. Now I'm ready to start my academic course in September 2020 and I hope to meet all of you in person as soon as possible. Luis, thank you so much for sharing your experience with us. I'd now like to welcome Vladia de Andrade e Silva for level 3A. Hello, my name is Vlad Andrade and I am EAP student. I learned a lot and I improved my English skills. Now, I want to share with you two important things. The teachers are very professional and I want to say thank you so much because I received important feedbacks and I learned with my mistakes. Moreover, all material, exercise, homeworks, extra exercise have an excellent quality. I studied and enjoyed each one. See you! For our next most dedicated student speech, Mohamed Amar from Level 4A will be sharing his thoughts with us. Hello everyone, my name is Mohamed Amar. I currently live in Palestine. Level 4A was my first semester at Niagara College. I was very excited to continue my education in Canada. I wish I was physically in Canada, so I can not only study English online, but also experience Canadian life and practice my English skills with Canadian people. But because of our pandemic situation, COVID-19, I wasn't able to move to Canada yet. But hopefully soon I can do that. My experience in Level 4, E. AP program was both challenging and exciting. It was challenging because all this online teaching and learning is so new for everyone. I prayed every day, therefore good internet connection, especially on test days. But when I look back, I can definitely say that I enjoyed my experience as a student. The program was designed so well for us and we had amazing support from our teachers. It is unbelievable how much I have learned in the past few months. I would like to say a big thank you to all my teachers for their hard work, for their patience and for their dedication to us students. I am also grateful to my classmates. Thank you guys. We worked so hard, but in the end we did it. All of you are amazing and I wish you the best in life. I'm looking forward to start level 5. I know it is not going to be easy, but I know that I can do it. Thank you, Niagara College. We really appreciate your thoughtful words, Mohammed. Thank you very much. At this time, we're moving on to our valedictory speeches. These are from one person from each of our level 5 classes in level 5A, Sukjin Yang, and level 5B, Luna Torres. Hi, I'm Jin in level 5A. Um, first of all, congratulations. I started this course a year ago and I'm already graduating. Time seems really fast, so I hope you all make well use of your precious time. The last year I spent at Niagara College is unforgettable. I made Lots of interesting memories with students came from various countries. And I was able to meet excellent, good-natured teachers having fun studying English. Of course, doing homework in English wasn't an easy task, but it was very beneficial to find what I was lacking. Unfortunately, our school life didn't last long. The COVID-19 which is causing so much grief to all of us, has left us from school. All classes were replaced online, and from then, we had to meet friends and teachers via online classes. 
It was very unfamiliar, and it would have been the same to all. I was disappointed that I had to take classes online, even though I'm in Canada, and frankly speaking, I couldn't trust the quality of online classes at first. However, NC and the teachers were really dedicated. They opened an online classes very soon to continue their classes by any means, and they didn't forget to inform students of the progress and necessary information. Their ability to respond to crises was literally impressive. And who did the most decisive role in this situation was, of course, the teachers, because. They had to teach us directly. They had to take care of students handling themselves at the same time, because this is the first time for all of us. And even for teachers, making that huge amount of PPT slides would have been a demanding work. We felt it when we do Pecha Kucha. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank our teachers. They were really passionate about teaching us, and always prepared well-structured classes. They were always considerate when we were in trouble, and the delicacy of using our names on the exam questions always made us smile. I'm so grateful for everything. Thank you very much, and we are lucky to meet you. Thank you. First of all, I congratulate my colleagues and friends for this achievement. I am very happy to have been able to share these months of learning together with all of you. Uh, since level four, I have met wonderful people that I know I can count on at any time. Uh, thank you for giving me the opportunity to get to know each of you a little better and for teaching me a little about each of your cultures. Uh, thank you to our teachers San Niagara College for this wonderful experience and for teaching me with effort and dedication in, in spite of the adversities. I learned a lot from each of you and thank you for the commitment to our virtual teaching that was not expected and also not easy for all of us. I am very happy to have finished a lot of my achievements with the tools you have given me. And finally, I want to thank my family for the effort they have made to have me here and for helping me in everything I needed to enter to the EAP. This program left me with many lessons that I am very excited to apply and to the real world in my post-secondary program and in general my life in Canada. Uh, this will never cease to be one of the most important experiences uh, for me uh, because it means everything. And I hope you all do well in the future, that you are successful in everything you do that we can stay in touch in the long run. Uh, thank you so much and thank you for the EAP in this program. Thank you, Jen and Luna, for your remarks. On behalf of your teachers, I would like to take the liberty of expressing our gratitude for your very kind words to us and for acknowledging the importance of the relationships with your classmates, which is what we as your faculty members want to for you and we want to celebrate now. At this time, I would now like to welcome Alex McGregor to read the names of our Level 5 graduates, starting with Level 5A. It gives me great pleasure and even greater honor to welcome the 5A students to the Summer 2020 Graduation Ceremony. This year, 5A had 21 students, a large group but a very diverse group from 10 different countries speaking eight different languages. What great diversity. And they had diverse post-secondary aspirations, 16 different programs that they're gonna be studying in uh, in September. 
This group was very participatory, and half the class had perfect attendance. Great work, everybody. I'm going to list the names now of all of the graduates from 5A. Johnny Almeida, Lientao Chao, Wendy Misun Chung, Edith Diaz, Suraj Gadmur, Jazu Gao, Mauro Graneman, Jun Zhang, Yi Yang Jin, Jiabao Le, Xin Liu, Aymen Mohammed, Luis Moura, Hyunju Juju O, oh. Bing Catherine Shan, Daiki Uguisu, Oguzan Oz Uzun, Chong Fu Wang Wang, Jing Shi Justin Xu, Yu Ting Jill Shui, Jin Yang. Congratulations, 5A. Thanks very much, and congratulations to the Level 5A graduates. Alex, would you please read the names of our Level 5B graduates? Now, it gives me great honor and greater pleasure to introduce the students of Class 5B, a smiling, fun-loving group that worked very hard. The names of the 5B students are Amar Abisuria. Frank Aguiar Gonzalez, Jisoo Joshua An, Than Hu Din, Rogerio Ferreira Laham, Haitao Gray Gao, Xiaolong Sylvester Guo, Boram Rina Kim, Jipeng Henry Li, Yuen Fang Lance. Liu, Yixuan Liu, Daniela Mejia Juan Cahuari, Pei Yu Pang, Shuo Scarlet Sun, Luna Torres Moreno, Min Huang Edward Tran, An Tran, Ricardo Vite Ruiz. Congratulations, 5B students. Good luck in your future. Thanks very much, Alex. As you said, it was an honor to teach the level 5A and 5B students through this spring semester, the last step on their English preparation before they continue on to their future studies and endeavors. And now to conclude our ceremony, we invite our interim director of international education, Dorita Pentesco, to offer her congratulations and concluding remarks. Goodbye from the sunny Kawartha Lakes, over to you, Dorita. Thank you, Carolyn, for the introduction, and thank you for hosting our English for Academic Preparation Spring 2020 virtual end of term celebration. I would like to take this moment to welcome all of you watching this celebration live and to all of you watching this in the future. I would also like to welcome our first ever fully online term of English for Academic Preparation students and graduates. Congratulations to all of you who have completed this term completely online. And now a well-deserved congratulations to our graduates and most dedicated students for your achievement. You are the pioneers in this educational adventure. Now, I would also like to thank our faculty and staff who have worked hard to make this term and celebration happen. Let us all celebrate the accomplishments of our students and the efforts of our staff together by clicking the like button on this video. Thank you for watching our English for Academic Preparation Spring 2020 end of term celebration, and I wish you all the best in health and happiness. We will see you soon.